Hey everyone, so my name is Karen Chan and I am your COVID tracker lady on the set. And I thought I would just make you a video instead of um, sending you another form or lecturing you. So welcome to Trigger Point. I'm really excited to work with you and I'm a nurse who is also an actor and occasional set dresser, freelance makeup lady, um, coffee runner, <laughs> producer in the indie film world when there is no funding. Um, yeah, so let me just put this in a better place so I can use both my hands. Um, so I'm just making a little video about COVID, which is hopefully a little bit easier to digest than all the forms that we recommend, highly recommend that you read. Um, so just a little bit of review. I'm sure we all know now that this is a procedural mask. So if you can see the blue side is on the outside and the white side is on the inside, we're gonna be providing you with at least two masks per day per person and it's highly recommended that if your mask is soiled or wet, like from perspiration or my nose runs when it's cold. So if it's wet, it is no longer safe to use. So I like to try to use a system when I'm wearing my masks um, and just in general life because I'm a bit of a scatterbrain. So I've been trying to keep all my masks in my left pocket, which is my non-dominant hand. So here we have all the masks that I've been using. This one, I can't talk in, you can't hear me. Um, this is a fabric mask, which is from um, Veterans Transition Network. And this protects, um, it doesn't protect the world from you as well as the N95 masks. So um, what else? But we can go over more of that later. So this is how I do in a mask. I try to use my non-dominant hand for some reason, always the first time. Make sure that the um, wire bit is facing up, not down. Goes over my left ear, over my right ear. Make sure that it's always covering your nose and your chin, and you pinch the nose for a good fit. And this helps from fogging up your glasses if you wear glasses. And um, you wanna make sure the mask is flush against your face and giving you good coverage. Um, so when I got a nose ring, I realized how much I scratch my nose when I'm nervous or cold or bored or whatever. So um, as much as you can, try not to touch your face and um, try to keep the dirtier things that you use in life, like your cell phone and your wallet either Store it away in your bag because, hey, sometimes it's good to actually turn off your phone if you're not so important, like the director of the film, and take a break from the real world um, so that you're not constantly touching something that is probably pretty dirty, um, like a lady's purse, which actually is very dirty as research shows. Um, so what else? Um, so, it's good to always touch your hands before you're changing places, changing people's faces if you're doing makeup, and after, so before and after things like, if you're in the hospital world, it's called aseptic te technique. So there's five moments of hand hygiene, before and after aseptic technique. So if I was doing some surgery on someone, um, I would wash my hands for 30 seconds before that. So 30 seconds is actually quite a long time. For example, twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder who you are. Up above the sky so high, like a diamond in the sky. I don't actually know the words. Do, 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 do. Okay, so. It's also good to kind of like cover this area, especially if you're someone who wears a watch. Um, so now my hands are clean 
and it's always good to wash your hands before you're leaving a place or a space. Um, like doorknobs are actually usually quite dirty. Doorknobs, bathroom stall handles, um, things that people would usually touch a lot if you think about it. Um, so before and after, if you're in the hospital patient procedure, so if you're shifting someone's clothes around, touching their face, touching your own face, eating, drinking, going to the toilet. And hey, I'm pretty sure we've all been washing our hands, including those boys in the world at large, since we were small after going to the toilet, um, because that's a little bit ick and a little bit gross. Um, what else? So here's just some tips for actors um, and people that are in close contact, like makeup and sound and wardrobe. So it's highly recommended that in addition to wearing your N95 mask that you also wear, and I don't have one on me right now, a plastic shield. And this is to avoid if an actor suddenly sneezes on you or decides you're really, really nice and they wanna hug you and they forget that you're not allowed to hug anymore or fall in love in the world at large. And so if you're within kissing or hugging distance, it's highly recommended that you're wearing a plastic shield. Um, and then again, wash your hands before and after touching someone's face or your face or tools. Um, it'll be a good idea to have individual makeup tools either for each actress or to also have a container for things like perhaps having one container each. So one for your dirty tools, one for your clean tools and to set it up that way so that even like to be using abundance of caution, one container for your dirty pens and one container for your clean pens or tools. Um, so it's highly recommended that the actors put their own lavalier mics on themselves to avoid close contact and for a boom mic to be used. If this is not possible, then again, a 95 mask plastic face shield. We're doing some research to see if um, we can acquire masks that don't mess up your hair or your makeup. Um, but hey, let's remember that even if you're the star actress of this film, you are very special, but the rules also apply to very special people. So masks are mandatory at all times, unless you're acting or eating. And let's all try to be mindful to eat in designated areas um, at staggered meal time, so we're not all eating together. Um, yeah. So if you have any questions as an actor, um, you have a right to know to stay safe. And there's a lot of good tips in ACTRA, A-C-T-R-A, -A, policy number 21 on the website. If you have any concerns about public health and you're not used to Canada, Toronto Public Health has some wonderful resources online. Um, and my background also is that I am a mental health nurse who used to work with the homeless in Vancouver. So if you're feeling anxious on set, um, I'm available to help you if you need a check-in um, and everything like that would be completely confidential. If you would like some resources like telehealth um, in the greater Toronto area, so telephone support from a nurse or a mental health clinician, I'm happy to leave you with a list of resources for that as well. And uh, I think that is it. So just to remind you again, I'm gonna make up a really clever hand washing song by the end of shooting. But for now, um, I'll take any recommendations and let's stay safe. Let's not kill each other while we're shooting. And just a reminder again, masks are mandatory. If you're displaying any COVID symptoms like coughing, um, runny nose, loss of smell or taste, 
um, upset tummy or diarrhea, extreme fatigue, um, please let us know well in advance and we'll have some recommendations for you. And hey, let's all try to reduce the harm and maybe also get our flu shots because it's flu season. Um, if you're a smoker or a cannabis user, that's awesome. Just maybe quietly let me know or if you have asthma or any kind of chronic illnesses that we should be aware of that make you a little bit more at risk, please also let me know. Um, this will be kept confidential. And um, I think that's it. So again, masks are mandatory. We'll be endeavoring to keep you safe on set every day so that we can co-create something wonderful. And as the assistant director from Good Doctor um, always used to say, we are moments from greatness. So let's try to keep our moments of hand hygiene and mindfulness perfectly intact so that, oh, I just touched my face, um, so that we can co-create something magical together. And uh, looking forward to working with all of you. Thank you and have a lovely day.